What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to Posting Productions. This gal, Didi, is absolutely crushing it. This is a strategy call that I did a few days ago, you guys. You can catch it a few videos back. Um, it was just, yeah, just a few days ago. And um, this is exactly what I'm talking about, man. When it comes to freelancing, building an agency or trying to build an agency or just, or just trying to do marketing services for, for your local business owner, for that small to medium-sized business out there, right? These are the type of businesses that need social media marketing. They absolutely have, have no idea on how to run a Facebook ad, put together a simple landing page, or even any type of email automation. They have no clue. And, and at the same time, to their defense, is they, they have no clue because they spent the last 20, 25 years building their business focusing on their business and a lot of them doing it the old school way, building their business, right? The average age of a small business owner in your local area is about 55 years old. That is the average age of a local business owner, your dry cleaner, your chiropractor, your, 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 your dentist, your dentist in this case, dentist, posting productions, DD, she actually spent many, many years in the dentist industry, doing other, other services and, and, and doing a lot of teaching and coaching. She educates dentists on different products that are, that are in the industry, right? Not a salesperson by any means, not a social media marketer back then, but she spent a good amount of years, I think over 10 years, servicing dentists and just being, being, being a product of the product, being in the industry. And so, um, now she's like, David, I have so many relationships. I, I, I speak with dentists and I coach them and I train them on different parts of their business um, when it comes to all this other crap. But what, I, what, I, what I'm realizing is that because I have this relationship and because I have this extensive background and experience, I know that they all lack social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And I want to start servicing them with that now. And I'm like, dude, that is the perfect example. Like, that's what I keep telling you guys is that I truly believe that the industry is so, it's still so prime. Although you may think everyone and their mother is starting a digital agency. Yeah, right, dude. There's just millions. There's tens of millions of small business owners that are out there. And it's like, I don't care who you think you are as a freelancer, as a solopreneur, or even building an agency. You would have to be like a Gary V right now with 50 people on the phone, cold calling every single business owner in the country and selling them social media marketing services. If you don't have that type of operation, and, and, and I know because that's how I started in 2010, call center, calling businesses, but back then we were selling them website and Google SEO. We just had a simple partnership with a, a, a SEO company and we were, re, and we were reselling their service, right? That's when it all kind of all started, but that was, that was back in 2010 when I was trying to do it offline. I was literally, I had a call center and this didn't last long at all. That's why I rarely talk about it. I rarely, rarely, rarely talk about it in my, in my story, but it is a major, major part of my story. And that was in 2010, right before I got into mortgages. So my little run with, with trying to have a little call center, cold calling small business owners and not niched down at all. We were calling every type of business, literally, literally it was freaking a sweatshop like, like, like no other, um, a boiler room like no other. Um, but it was a good experience. It was a good experience and freaking, um, 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 the point is, is that that's where it all started. And then, and then, and then D here, she has been doing that whole thing for the dentist side. Right. And I'm like, dude, perfect example, because the only reason why I'm even after real estate professionals is because I come from it. Didi, she's now wanting to offer these, these social media services for dentists because she comes from it. And it's like, dude, when you can, when, if you think that these, that everyone and their mother has an agency, you're wrong. There's just too many damn businesses. And at the same time, most people that started an agency, let's, let's just say in 2016, because that's when I first started knowing about running Facebook ads or doing any type of social media management for a local business owner. I didn't even know of it before 2010. Okay. I'm yeah. Yeah. Before, no, 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 excuse me. Before 2016, before 2016. So when I'm jumping into it, 
I'm only jumping into it not because I all of a sudden had a freaking light bulb moment and a brain fart and I was like dang dude that could be a good idea no it's because I was freaking hearing from it from Ty Lopez I was hearing from it from Sam Ovens they first came onto the scene and 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 started running ads Facebook ads YouTube ads to get people into their course which was Sam Ovens accelerator it was his social media marketing agency course which I first started learning in 2016, man. And so since then, so many people quit. Since then, so many people quit. And these are all people that were going after random businesses, just thinking that they can get 2,500 from a freaking local business owner when it's like they have no experience in that industry. They're just a freaking marketer and, 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 and let alone not even a good one, right? They're just spraying shit against the wall and seeing what sticks, right? Um, and so, so many of those people have quit by now too, you guys. We're now in 2020. You know how many people quit? So many people can't even get a client. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, so many people out there. And, and, and you, shout out to you guys that are, that are watching this right now. If you're an aspiring agency owner and, or you're a freelancer and you're trying to find ways to get clients, the local business owner to run their social media marketing or Facebook advertising, I know a ton of you that are still trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, put that business owner in a chokehold and demand three grand a month from them right away, day one, without them even knowing you. I know a ton of you people that are starving, trying to get your next client, wondering why you can't, you know what I mean? So it's like posting productions, shout out to DD. Here is my point with all of that is that she is a perfect example of someone saying, you know what? I'm not going to just be a random digital marketer and try to cold call every business out there and, and not even, niche down and, 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 and just see if I can go get some freaking $3,000 a month clients. It's like, dude, she's like, she's like, no, I have a knowledge in dentist dentistry. I have a passion in it. I know these people. I, I, I've been building relationships with them for almost 15 years. This is what she's telling me, right? I'm like, D you're the perfect example. Like you're the, you're the perfect example of what an agency owner should be. In my opinion, again, I come from real estate. I come from mortgages, the, and and marketing and marketing, but prior to build, me starting something and, and trying to build my own agency and trying to go out there and get clients for social media and Facebook advertising, that, that all started in 2016, 2017. Prior to that, six years prior to that, I was in the mortgage industry. So I was suit and tie, go to an office every day, drive a nice car. That was me, right? And, 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 and that was my circle of influence. That was everyone in my office. We were bankers. We were mortgage loan originators, AKA freaking closers. We were closing mortgages, making a ton of money, right? And to this day, my best friend still owns that company here in San Diego. Shout out to American Mortgage Group, right? So they crush it. Um, but my point is, dude, my freaking point is, is that that was my background. That's why today I can get fired up about closing clients and bringing value to a specific type of client. People in real estate, for example, that's my whole niche. It's because I can, I can speak the lingo. I have the knowledge. I have the background. I know what they're looking for. I know what they lack in. I know their pain point. I know what they suck at. Like when it comes to social media, when it comes to everything, I know that they're not closing deals. The majority of them. It's like, dude, I, I know all the pain points because I come from that DD posting productions she knows all the pain points because she comes from that. I truly believe that your niche needs to be a niche that you come from, that you come from or that you're passionate about, man, or, or you, or you want to learn about. Let, let, let's just say you, you don't know how you, you have no experience in that industry. You're, you're a digital marketer and all of a sudden you want to start running, you know, social media marketing and, and, and Facebook ads for a, a, a type of business or your friend's business or whatever. I'm telling you, man, come from it. Like what's your background? What's your experience? What's your passion? And, and if you, if you didn't have any type of job like me, I had a job in the, in the industry. So it's like, okay, I guess I can, I can bring value in that. Right. Cause it made sense to me. Cause I come from it. Right. You may not come from something, but if you have an a, a, a interest or if you have a passion in something, then that could work too. You know, let's say for example, you have, you know, you don't come from the industry, but you have a super high passion in music. Let's say you're, you, you want to, you want to start making money online and you want to start offering, you know, services to business owners out there and you're trying to figure out your niche and you're like, dang, dude, what do I like? Or what, what's my passion in, or what's, what do I have experience in? And, and some of you guys that are younger that don't have too much experience. Okay. What's your passion in? And so an example, music, 
let's say for example, I'm learning Facebook ads, I'm learning social media marketing, and I'm learning how to bring value to that type of business owner. And I'm, and, and I have a passion in music and that's about it, right? I have an interest. I have a passion. I'm not a musician. I don't rap. I don't sing. I don't play an instrument, but I just, I love music, you know, and, and, and whatever job, you know, I ever had before working at the mall, working at a car lot, whatever, Walmart, you know, whatever job you had before, it really didn't matter because you're still young, but your real interest is in music. And now you just know the power of social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So you're like, shit, let me go after someone over there. Do you know how easy it would be to start running Facebook video ads, YouTube video ads for the local musician, for that person that's in your area that has yet to blow up, but they're performing every night at the local bar. They're performing every night at the local event right? They're out there networking. They're on their grind. They're trying to build their business, music. How many people, dude, every artist, every musician starts that way. Like I'll go out to my local neighborhood any, any, any time, especially on the weekend out here in San Diego, there's a huge park. It's called Valvo Park. Valvo Park is where it's like a melting pot. It's downtown San Diego where so many people are at. Amazing people, people from different cultures, different ethnicities, different backgrounds. You find it all in downtown, right? A lot of downtowns in the country, but especially out here in San Diego. So Belleville Park is a huge park where there's just a lot of different random people, and it's really cool. It's probably like Central Park. I never been a Central Park in 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 um in in New York, but I would assume it's something like that where there's just a bunch of different people that all you know like to come out and chill. And it's like, dude, you got people that are so talented. They're playing their guitar and they're doing it for tips. They're singing. They're freaking, you know, playing their instrument, you know, and it could be someone that's kind of damn near homeless, but that's the, the grind of a musician. Like, dude, these people, we all grind. We all start at that level, right? In the very, very beginning, of, don't matter what your business is. In this case, I'm using a musician. How easy would it be for you to say, damn, dude, that guy has so much talent. He probably has so much video content. Like, I want to help him run this video on Facebook. Like, I want to take his content and run it on freaking YouTube. Like he may be posting, right? Because everyone's on social media, but it's like, no, dude, I'm not talking about posting for you. Like let's run an ad and let's get thousands of people around the world to hear your music. Like music is so, and it's like, dude, someone like me, to tell you the truth, someone like me that loves music, that should and that could have been my niche. Like I'm even asking myself right now in real time, why have I not gone after musicians because I can easily run a video ad for them and get hundreds of thousands of people around the world to hear their music. Like that's crazy. So that's a little tip. I'm going to give that one to you guys. I'm going to give that one to you. If you don't have a niche and you have a passion in music, dude, how easy would it be to go on a social media? And this is an international thing now. Shit. I might even just do it with myself. Holy shit. Sometimes I think I'm giving you guys too much, man. Oh shit, that's that could be it. Okay, here's the deal. I'll share it with you. It, most of you ain't gonna do sh ain't gonna do shit with it anyways. Do you know how easy that that is, man? To reach out to any musician on social media. Now you have to have some kind of giddy up, right? You can't just be some freaking ten year old and you're playing with a flute. No, dude. Like you have to be somewhat, you know, in it. Like I would say, you know. 15, 16, 17, 18, shit. What if I find the next Justin Bieber, right? And I found him at 15, right? Like all these musicians, bro, like I'm telling you, you can find a million of them on YouTube. You can find a million of them on Instagram. You can find a million of them on Facebook. But Instagram, Twitter, you can find a million of musicians. How easy would it be to reach out to them and say, hey man, I run Facebook and Instagram ads. I also run YouTube ads. I'd love to get your music exposed by literally millions of people around the world. Love to chat. Great to connect with you. Thanks for following me on Instagram. Awesome. It's like, dude, like I'm, I'm just, my mind is just a little blown right now because I just know how easy that is. And I know that I can, yeah, that, that'd be pretty crazy. But my point is, man, my point is, is that Didi, shout out to Didi. Okay. She's going after an industry that she that she's fired up about, that she knows about, she's knowledgeable about, and 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 all that. And all I'm saying, man, is that I truly believe that's 
if you were to do that, if you were to find the passion, find the interest, or find your previous previous experience and, and apply that to, to a niche and offer social media marketing services and Facebook advertising, you would be fired up. You'd be fired up, they'd be fired up, and everyone would be fired up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So if you're building an agency or, or trying to be a freelancer and trying to do digital marketing services, social media marketing services, Facebook advertising services for any freaking business, I'm telling you, nine out of 10 of you will quit and you'll just give up. You're like, damn, I can't get a client because you guys, first of all, you're not a closer. And second of all, you're probably going after some random ass niche that you have no experience in, no excitement about, and no passion about. You know what I mean? So that's what I truly believe makes people, you know, die is the fact that their business, I should say, it makes their business completely collapse because they, they never got, got it off the ground to begin with. You never even got a client, bro. And if you did, you got two because you weren't fired up about that industry, man. But if you were fired up about it, it'd be a different story. That's all I'm saying, man. So shout out to D for going after an industry that she already has the, the experience in. And that's why if you catch that call, in fact, you know what? Stay to the end. I'm going to tie this, this last video that I did with her. I interviewed, or it wasn't even, no, it wasn't an interview. It was a strategy call. Her and I were just going back and forth with ideas. I was giving her ideas on all this stuff, man. Um, so stay to the end and you'll see that video come up in the end um, here. But she's asking a great question. So let's just get on with the damn thing. She is asking a good question, man. Could you do a video showing where and how to analyze the data from the video views ad? So in this one, she's talking about a Facebook video ad, right? I do, I do a lot of Facebook ads. I start a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of them off as video views just so we can capture the audience of a, of, of a particular market and retarget them with future ads. So what I'm going to do right now, you guys, this one might be, might be another few minutes because I'm going to literally show her. I'm going to answer the question, and then you're catching me in real time right now anyways when I got to go and run this ad. So I'm going to just show you how I do it, and I'm going to show you how I set up the retargeting. So this one's going to be a treat. Okay, so shout out to DD Posting Productions. Follow her, you guys, if you're anywhere in the dentist industry or, or dentist niche um, or social media marketing and, and, and Facebook ads in general. Subscribe to her channel, man. She's going to be putting out a lot of good content. So make sure you subscribe to her channel, Posting Productions. Um, but let me kind of just show you the back end, man. Let me show you the back end and, and let me show you how I set up the next ad, right? So now, now that the video view ad ran and now that we have X amount of views, what now? That becomes a custom audience. We then retarget that custom audience. And when you're focused on a local area. We're not talking nationwide marketing right now. So if you guys are affiliate marketers or e-commerce, I'm really talking to the local business owner right now. This is a local Facebook ad strategy, very basic, ain't none to it, but it's super powerful because as you start to run your videos, as you start to brand yourself, that's what they're doing, man. So shout out to Brenda and her husband, Jeff. What they're doing is they're literally branding their local area with video. They're branding themselves, man. That's the ultimate branding. So while 99% of you guys are still sleeping on video, you got, you got, you got, you got the 1%, you got the 1% like Brenda and her husband that are, that are, that are simply saying, you know what, screw it. We're going to just put ourselves out there and it is what it is. And, and, and what they're doing in their video is they're educating. They're educating people on the process of buying what it takes to buy a house. So they're not just pitching videos. Hey man, buy from me. I'll list your house tonight and sell it tomorrow. No, they're actually educating. They're short, they're shooting short, simple videos, man, from their kitchen on a tripod cell phone, like nothing professional at all. Raw, uncut, unfiltered, unedited, a few minutes and just and just and just picking a topic and and talking about it. That's it, man. And then that that and that's why what what most people do is they'll take that content. They they'll do something like that. They have the right intention, right? How many of us have the right intention? And we'll do something like that, give some value in in a, in a quick video, and post it on social media. So if you're a real estate agent, you're doing that for your listing. You're doing that for your open house. You're doing that for for anything regarding your business in general. If you're even doing video at all, nine out of ten of you aren't. But the one percent of you that are doing video, you'll take that video and you'll post it on social media, right? And, and if you're a local dentist, you may post it on social media. If you're a local chiropractor, a local dry cleaner, you'll take something like that and you'll post it on social media. The reason why it's stupid for us to be doing that, if you're a local business owner, 
is because 95% of your Facebook friends live across the country. 95% of the people who like your Facebook business page live across the country. 95% of the followers on Instagram live across the country. And if you're building a YouTube channel like I am, 95% of the subscribers live across the country. So when you're just LinkedIn, 95% of your connections that you're connected with, right? That you're actually connected with on LinkedIn live across the country. So it's like, dude, I'll see a real estate agent post their open house. I'll look at it and the person's in Nebraska. And I'm like, dude, she's showing it to her 1700 friends on her personal page when 95% of them are just like me that live across the country. And then she invited these 1700 friends from her Facebook personal page to like her business page. And out of, this, out of the 1700 friends that she has on her personal page, 700 of them lived, liked the business page, right? Accepted her invite. Let's say 700 of them, 400 of them, 200 of them liked, accepted the invite and liked her business page now. But 99% of those folks live across the country. Look, Amy, Amy, I'm telling you guys, this is day in the life. You're catching day in the life type of stuff, man. This is happening right now. This person right here, most likely a real estate agent. Let's see. and everything that's going to be available. Check this out. This is a, um, a worldwide event, not just national. And this is just outside. Okay, so shout out to her. She's, she's let, me, um, let me go to her page real quick, Amy. She's doing a Facebook Live at some event that she's at. But nine out of ten times, that would have been a Facebook Live on an open house or on your listing or on some type of advice on buying or selling and, and apply this to any business owner, apply this to any business. This, this is a real estate agent, but apply it to any business. It's the same damn thing. So normally that would have been on something regarding her business in Atlanta, Georgia, which I'm in San Diego. So automatically doesn't apply to me and her friends over here. She's not showing how many she has, nor does it matter, but chances are that's not 300 friends. Okay. Chances are she has 3000 because she's a business owner and she's accepting and requesting a ton of people. When you scale that number up, if you just have 200 friends and you want to tell me, okay, David, yeah, I am a local business owner. Yeah. I am a real estate agent. Yes. All my clients are in my backyard. And yes, all the 200 friends that I have on Facebook, they're all people who live in my backyard. They're all people that I know. That's if you have 200 friends, dude. But as you take that 200 number up, those, the 200, who, first of all, let's, let's talk about that. The 200 friends that you have on Facebook, which you don't, you have 2,500, but the 200 friends that you have on Facebook, let's say that's all you had. It, it consists of your in-laws, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins, your brother, your sister, your friends from school, um, people you work with, um, your circle of influence, uh, a waiter that you met at, 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 at happy hour. And now you're just friends on Facebook because you're a real estate agent and you want to promote your business, right? There are people that are maybe your neighbor, maybe your neighbor, because you're, you're trying to, you're trying to obviously establish that local brand. That's your business. That's your job. You got to be building your business somehow, some way. So that's what you're doing. You got 200 friends on Facebook. As you take that friend list up. And it's so funny because when someone tries to tell me that I'm like, dude, well, how did you accept my request? I live in California. You're in Tennessee. You're telling me everyone on your personal Facebook friend knows you, Facebook friend list knows you. Yeah, right. No, they don't. I don't. And I'm willing to bet 95% of your 1900 friends are just like me who don't even live in the area. So don't tell me you got per, a ton of friends that you know on your personal list. No, you don't. No, you don't at all. So as that number scales up again, you go from, okay, you have 200 friends, you know all of them. But as that number goes to 2,000, you're not going to know any, know any of them. As that number goes from 2,000 to 3,700 friends on this personal page or 3,700 friends on LinkedIn or 3,700 followers on Twitter or 3,700 followers on Instagram or 3,700 subscribers on YouTube, as you take those numbers up, no one knows you, okay? 
And so it's like, dude, and no one lives in the area. Not only do they not know you, they don't even live in the area. That's why posting is a complete joke. It's like, dude, we're in 2020. Now that we learned that doesn't work, rather than going live and telling us about your product, it's like, dude, you need to be running a Facebook ad. You need to run a Facebook video ad. And so again, I'm big on video. I'm big on, on, on targeting that local area because what starts to happen is once you start to run a few videos, video number one, video number two, video number three, and now we're retargeting all the videos from the previous ones. We're, we're retargeting all the viewers from the previous ones now, right? Now we're on video number four, video number five, video number six, video number seven, and we're targeting a local area. I'm telling you, man, it's like, it's like a freaking mini commercial playing on TV when everyone's watching TV. It's like, dude, it's, it's that type of branding effect, but just times a hundred because everyone is cracked out looking at their phone all day versus the old school way of marketing. If that were to be a TV commercial, people are only watching TV at a certain time. Millions of people are watching five o'clock news, right? The five o'clock to let's just say 8 p.m. hour, super prime time, right? Super prime time. Running commercials at that time of the day is the most expensive, right? Because it's when the most attention is there. But nowadays in 2020, the attention is on this damn thing 24 seven. The attention is on social media 24 seven. It's like, I don't gotta wait till 5 p.m. to watch the 10 o'clock news to see the damn commercial in between, right? It's like, dude, people are literally stuck to their phone all damn day. And when you're running videos like this to your local area, by the time four, five, six, seven videos go through, that whole town is going to know you, man. And then when you're retargeting with more ads, you're retargeting. You're, you, it's, like, it's like a magnifying glass. You're holding up a magnifying glass and the sun is just beaming down. And you're holding a mic. I don't know if you guys used to do this when you were kids, but I used to do it all the time. I would get a magnifying glass and then, and then I would put it to, to like the, you know, out in the, in the front yard, like on the sidewalk. I'd put it down on the sidewalk. I'd put a leaf under it and I'd burn it. The sun would burn it through the micro, mic, through the, through the, um, the freaking thing, the damn glass. Um, 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 um. And, and be because it was just so narrow, it was so targeted. It was like a freaking beam. That's what this is, man. When you're running Facebook ads to your local freaking city, like if I just type in San Diego and you look down on a map on what, on the pin that I dropped, right? San Diego, I'm targeting San Diego. It's like, dude, after so many things of something happening, after so much penetration, it pops, right? And, 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 and in, in this case with video, after so many videos, constantly running every single day and, and, and they're different types of videos they are actual educational value based video on your business, right? You're talking to the client, you're talking and educating the audience. So it's not a pitch. It's not a pitch fest. It's actually good content where people are learning. And it's like, dude, when you can focus on a local area, man, that's when you could take over. That's when you take over. So, all I'm saying in this case, forget it with the Facebook lives. If you're doing, if you're building a local business, that same energy, that same content, everything that you did posted on the page, everything just becomes a Facebook ad now targeting a specific location. That's it. And, 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 and I'm just convinced a real estate agent, although she can help anyone relocate, she's in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in California. I'm never moving to Atlanta. I mean, I don't know the future, but I'm, I'm, pr it, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm not moving out, out there anytime soon. So it's like, dude, take that content, man. Run it to that area. That's where everyone needs to see you, Amy. Not, not me in California. I don't care about your listing. I don't care about your open house. Neither do none of your friends, right? The only one that's going to comment is your freaking in-law and your cousin or your girlfriend, right? And, and, and they've already bought a house from you. So it's like, dude, there's no ROI on that, man. So quit Mickey Mouse in it and, and, and just take that content, run a video. So, so shout out to Go Team Garrison. Over here, we've started the process, okay? We started the process and I'm gonna continue the process and I'm gonna show you in real time how I do the damn thing. And this is gonna be, this is gonna be quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one quick from this point on. I ran it enough, I, I, I ranted enough and yeah, so 
Here's what I'm going to show you now, you guys. This right here, February 3rd, this was the intro video, okay? So to answer the question, let's go back to the question. How do you analyze the data from the video ads? Here's all I look at, man. I really don't even, I, I really don't, to tell you the truth. Here's what I'll look at. I'll look at the video. So if you come to the page, let's take this from the top. If I just go to, shout out to Amy, shout out to Amy. Start running Facebook ads, Amy. That's all. Okay, so let's um, go let's let's take it from the top here's what you want to do first man and i'm going to take you from a to z from so so mark this right now from a to z let's go what we're doing is we're putting the video over here so on the left you come to your business page you click on left you upload that video first okay the video goes up on the page first um and and you'll see it right here this is where you want to write out the text this is where you want to give it a title this is where you want to choose the thumbnail. This is where you want to add the, the subtitles, okay? So if you come over here, you click on um, um, videos. We click on videos. And so as you go and upload it, you're going to save it from your, you're going to save it on your computer or your, that's what I would do. So if you're recording the video on your cell phone, what I would do is I would email you, email yourself that video, right? So it's on your cell phone. You record it on your cell phone, email it to yourself right? Email it to yourself and then upload it to your Facebook business page from a computer. That's just what I would do. But a lot of you guys are super crazy mobile and, and, and you can do all that on your cell phone. But I just, on the computer, it's a completely different feeling. Um, and that's just kind of how I prefer, but you can do whatever you want, but make sure it goes up on the page first and, 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 and that video sits right here. Okay. So this was the first one. 3.3 views, and she's in a little area, you guys. That's what, that's what I'm saying. This one ran February 3rd and then February 10th. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run February 18th, and then we'll get to we'll get to to this one today. But let's I'll just show you, I'll show you, I'll show you this third one. So now we're now we're gonna run this third one. First one ran, second one ran, and now this third one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this third one and I'm gonna retarget the people who viewed February 3rd and February 10th. Okay. I'm going to retarget them. And we're targeting a little area, like a super, super tiny area. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. After a few videos, like that whole town's going to know who you are. Where else are you going to get that? Are you going to get that kind of branding effect? Where else can you spend a few bucks and get thousands of people to view, not only just hear your message as far as reading it on a damn blog, but they're actually seeing you visually in a video. Like, come on, dude. Like you're, that's why it blows my mind. Some of you guys that aren't running video ads and you're trying to build a business. It's like, what? Like, and, 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 and I get it. Some of you are, cam mo oh shit. I get it. Nine out of 10 of you are camera shy. I get it. But I'm telling you, you guys know where we're at now. You're, you know where the industry is at. You know what the game is. Video, social media branding, personal branding is, is, is what it's all about, man. And, and look, my, my platform happens to be YouTube. That's where I'm putting my mug out, right? That's where I'm putting my face out is, is on YouTube. I, I, I'm not even doing it on any other platforms. I'm just doing it here. Or if I'm running an ad, then yeah, a Facebook ad, but not just spraying it on social media, right? You don't see too many videos of me anywhere else on social media other than me sharing my YouTube video, right? And, and, and it's all on YouTube. But my point is, is that Facebook, it's for ads, man. Quit Mickey Mouse in it and spraying it everywhere. Ads, 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 ads. So when you start running these video ads to your area, you guys, checkmate, okay? After a few videos, that whole town is going to know who you are. So let's do this, man. February 3rd, February 10th, okay? We're going to be retargeting those viewers with inspect this, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here. We're gonna, actually, you know what? Let's back this up. Let's back this up real quick. Let's answer the question real quick. So to answer the question, D, you could look at the numbers right here on, on, if you just look at the video, like on the page, like it shows you the views. And then when you go into the ads manager, and then also depend on if you're looking at it from your cell phone or depend on what, or if you're looking at this through the time, like through the actual, through the timeline, through the actual news feed on the profile, like let's say, let's go down to the actual timeline so this is her timeline right this is her her profile her timeline so if we scroll down and this, these are numbers that you'll be able to see no one else can see it you're you're going to be able to see it because you're the admin 
this right here. So look, those those are those are good enough numbers right there. Like it's it's reached fifty seven hundred people, two hundred and eighty two engaged, right? Um, and then when you click on it, when you click on it, it actually shows you the views, right? So it's like that right there is is kind of all I all I even care to even know. Like there's there's absolutely really nothing else to need to care to know. Um, other than what we spent on it. So that one, so when you come to the actual dashboard, this is what, this is kind of all I look at. I, I'll look at those numbers on the page and then I'll look at these numbers back here on the dashboard. So when it comes to that one, okay, so let's go back. So if I go down to that first one, it was, let's see, where did it go? It was, um, this one. Okay, so if I look at that one, right? So I'm in, you got three tabs. You got the campaigns, the ad sets, and the ads, right? So in here, obviously it's gonna, it's gonna tell me my budget. It's gonna tell me what was spent the lifetime. And I already know that when I set it up. So when I set up the ad, I'll set the budget and I'll set, a, I'll set the start and end date. So I already know how much is going to be spent. I'll let it run. So I don't even, I don't even, well, if you look at it, let's go back to it. Let's look at the actual. So when you come over here, you can click on view charts, but I'm seeing it right here as well. So let me close this. Let me close this part. I can see it right here. So look, 758 through plays. That means that 758 people watched at least 15 seconds of it. That's a lot of people, man, that just sat there for 15 seconds and watched it, right? It reached that many. That many people actually scrolled through it, like actually saw, like an impression is just a view of it. Like, like not, a, not a view, but an actual just, um, 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 what's the damn word I'm looking for? Uh, um, a scroll through. So someone just scrolled through. They didn't really, they didn't stop and view it. They scrolled through. That's an impression. Like they scrolled through, they saw it, they scrolled through, but they didn't sit there and view it. Not even one second of it, right? It's just an impression. And then the cost, that right there. And I already know how much the budget was. And so that was the cost per, per, per result. Um, so I can either look at it there or I can click on view charts. And then this will give me actually, to tell you the truth, when you click on view charts, it actually gives you more data. So, but it's, there's, there's the same numbers, but I want, if I want to look at the demographics, which is, which is obviously super important, um, you could look at the demo, dem, the demographics and be like, wow, okay, that many more men saw it than women. And then when you go and run Facebook ad number two, you can then only target men, right? Like, so the most amount of people from 25 to 34 saw it, men, men, 25 to 34. That seems to be like the actual um, the actual um, um, group, but then also women, right? In between 25, 25 and thirty four, most of them saw it. So here's what you want to do for sure, man. You could for sure do this. Now I'm not going to do it in this case, only because it's small potatoes, man. Like it's pennies. Like it's pennies. Like it's 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 pennies. If you're focused on affiliate marketing or e-commerce and selling an actual physical product and you're focused on running ads to the entire country or the entire world for that matter, this micromanaging and this micro analysis is is definitely required. But in this case, we're focused on a local area and the cost isn't much anyways. So it's like that's why I don't really need to really look at that or even care about that because I'm going to keep penetrating that local market no matter what, like no matter what. And it's not costing me an arm and a leg to, 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 um, to get these other folks to see it and not even really care about the age and not even care about the gender. And in this case, being a real estate agent, you can't even target age anymore. So the age doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. And the gender in this exact case, this is to my point, the gender is not even going to matter because I can't even choose gender anymore in this targeting. When you're housing, you're offering credit or housing or, or employment, you can't even target that anymore. So this is good just to give me the, the feedback and let me know, wow, okay, that age group, that men seems like they're more, and this can allow me to, to, to re, to re, um, 
re um uh um what's the word i'm looking for damn it to reanalyze or to just restructure or to or to reset or to just strategize in general these numbers will give me a great base on how to approach my next ad so if i know that only that the majority of people are 25 to 34 then i can then i can say something in the ad that would maybe appeal to them right like now now i can know who my audience is if that number keeps up so if i look at the next ad and that's the same you know type of age because i'm not going to change anything right now i'm not going to change gender i'm not going to change age in fact i can't anyways but if that number keeps going then we'll really know like two videos three videos out four videos out and we we look at it again and it continues to remain 25 to 34 then we can start creating more content around that age group right that would make the most sense um but as far as trying to change the targeting in the in in the setup with housing you can't anyways so it doesn't even matter and again even if even if i could i don't think i would because again we're targeting a local area it's all about this local space so i want i want everyone and their mother to know who the hell i am especially if it's just for a couple pennies right that's what i'm saying like especially if it's for a fraction of what this would cost me on any other platform or any other marketing medium right so it's like if anything, D, I can look at that, which will which will allow me to 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 put out more relevant content. Um, that's kind of all all I'll look at is is the age and and the demographics on on the gender, if anything. But but that's about it. I'll I'll see numbers over here, and 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 I'll know that 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 that, that you know ad performed, and then I'll look at the numbers right here. And then I'll be like, okay, dang, you know, we got it at 0.03. I'm looking for a little lower, but any, but then also sometimes you'll run ads where that's 0.30. Like, look up here on number two, on number two, it was 0.34, right? So it was still, so that was way higher of, of a freaking, of a, of a, of a cost, right? That was way, way higher. But at the same time, it's like, dude, it is what it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to retarget video the intro and I'm going to re retarget uh, uh, video views number two. I'm going to retarget that one with with this third one. So all I'm doing, man, is getting back in front of people for a few bucks anyways and, 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 and building that local brand. That's what this is all about, you guys. That's what this is all about. And so, um, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just come in here. Let's hit the green button. And let's, um, let me see here. Um, let's go. Video view. So, so we're, we're now on this third and look, this is the, the box you got to check. So if I'm in housing, I can't even change gender or age targeting anyways. So. Um, it's all good. We're going to, so this is the third one. We're going video views, right? This is the third one. We're going to run one more under video views, and then we're going to retarget for Facebook ad number four. We're going to retarget viewers for video one, two, and three. And now in video four, we're going to retarget for traffic and conversions. We'll be running traffic and conversions to see, you know, which, which one really pops. And now that's when we start capturing leads is in that fourth week. Okay. So it's a process, man. It's a process. Some of you guys want to just come out the gates and capture leads right away. Um, but, but I truly believe that if you can build an audience of people that are viewing your stuff and the only way to do it is to do it video views actually one, well, it's yeah, it's the best way. Cause it's going to be the least cost effective. I mean, it's going to be the least cost. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to, it's going to cost you the least to, to get that data, to find people who actually resonate with your message, you know? And, and, and so that's why in, in the previous one, look, um, if we go back, it reached 5,700 5, people, but, but only, only three, over 3,000, 3,300 people actually viewed it, right? So it's like that, those 3,000 that viewed it, that's what I wanted. Like, that's what I want. Like, that's how you're going to completely brand yourself, especially again, when it's dealing with local. You're going to be able to take over that in, entire area and you're going to be able to dominate because it's actually you putting out your visuals when no one else is. 
And, and when you can just retarget, 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 but, but actually do it in, 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 in some type of process. And in this case, I'm literally video viewing it for three weeks. And then, and then, and then after that much data, then we have a, a good amount of audience, a good amount of thousands of people that have seen previous ads that saw previous videos that have not opted in yet. Now we can retarget them with more videos. And, and again, man, that's, that's, that, that's how you take it over. That's how you take over your local area. That's how you take over any damn area, man. So let's run this one and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to show you, um, let's do this. Actually, you know what? Let's set up. So here's what we got to do. We got to set up the custom audience first. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to the three dots. We're going to come down here and we're going to click on audiences. Okay. We're going to click on audiences. This part needs to happen first. We're going to create the custom audience. We're going to create the audience of the previous viewers. Okay. Then we come in, run the ad and retarget them. Okay, guys, so there's there's one audience. There's one audience that was already created. Let me create this second one so you guys can see it from the from the beginning. Okay, so we'll go video and then we'll go people who viewed. We're gonna go on this on this second one. We're gonna go, we're gonna go through play. We're gonna go through play. I'm going to choose the video and I'm going to go to that page. And that video was inspect this. Actually, no, it was interested in buying a home. So it was this one. So that was February, February 10th. That was the second video. Okay. That was the second video. And then I'm going to run it on this one, inspect this. Okay. So that's the third video. So, we're going to create the custom audience around that one. Okay. So we hit confirm and then we're going to give the, the, um, the audience, a name, this is, this is, um, we'll name it video number two, retarget, retarget video number two, retarget. And it's, I'm going to, I'm going to do through play. Okay. So that's the title. That's the, that's the name of the audience. That's video number two. That's video number two. You just hit done. That's video number two. And those are people who watched at least 15 seconds of it. So now video number three, I'm going to retarget the 25 percenters and I'm going to retarget the through play. Okay. So here's what we do now. So we come over here, we go to the ads manager. And then now we're going to come over here, hit this green button. And we're going to run this third one. Check the box if you're in housing. And this third one, more video views. We're going to build up this last batch, this last batch of views, get this one to a few thousand, and then boom, retarget with traffic and conversion. Okay. So. I'll hit that one. I don't need that uh, budget optimization. I'll just do it from the other end. Actually, you know what? Let me go back real quick. I got to give it a title. So we're going to call this one. Um, we're going to call this one video views. Video views. Go team garrison. Video views. Go team garrison. Video views. Number three. Okay, so that's the title of it. Copy, continue. And this, this is, this is going to be fast, you guys. This is going to be fast, so we're almost done. And again, stay to the end if you want to catch that video with, with me and posting productions. But um, so here's what we do. Here's what we do. So now all I'm going to do, I, now I'm in the second step. Now I'm in the ad set, right? All I'm going to do is paste in that name, title. I'll just bring it over again. Same thing, video views, number three, go team. Garrison, um, and I'm going to go retarget, retarget.
Okay. So now I'm over here. Okay. All I'm going to do, you guys, simple, simple, simple. You click that and there's the drop down. So we want to retarget the 25 percenters who watched the intro. That was over 3,000 views. And then we want to retarget the video number two on the people who watched the through play, the, the first 15 seconds. That's right there, you guys. Crazy powerful. This So now people in a very, very specific targeted location are going to keep seeing their ads, man. Powerful, 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 powerful. And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in their local area. This is the area we're, we're, we're farming. This is the area we're branding. Um, branding, I should say. People living in this location. And that's in Des Moines, Iowa. And I'm going to just take this out 50. We want them all, man. We want it all. We want to take over that entire 50 mile radius. Um, I'll just keep it at English all. And I'm not going to focus on the detailed targeting. I don't need any of that. What I will do is I will exclude people who like the page. Okay. So I don't need to target them. And then I'm going to manually, I'm going to go manual placement. I'm going to take it off of Instagram. I'm going to take it off of Messenger. And I'm even going to take it off the audience network. I'm going to leave it just on Facebook, news feeds, marketplace, new uh, video feeds, uh, Facebook stories, in stream. Um, instant article, I'll take it off of instant article and I'll leave it like that. Okay. And then through play right here, optimize ad for through play. And then what I'm going to come down do and come down and do is I'm going to go lifetime. Okay. I don't do daily. I do lifetime, same math, same number, same, ex same, same budget, just, just market at lifetime. Right. So we're going to run this one for the next, um, We'll, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go seven days on this one and we'll go, um, we'll go 35 and I'll change this. Let's go. And we're going to start this. We're going to start this today. We're actually going to start it today because it's still fairly early. So it's 1230 my time. I'm going to start this today uh, at, and we're going to go 6 PM. We'll go 6 PM and I'm going to run it for a week. And we're going to go February 24th to the second. And I'm going to change this time so it reflects the same. And there goes that $35 budget. Okay. So hit advanced. That's all we need. Lifetime, 35. And we're just doing this like clockwork, you guys, every week, every week. But the first three weeks is what set up the entire campaign. It was the first three weeks where we now have that, or well, where we're now going to have after I run this one, thousands of viewers, thousands of views in that, in that local area. And then we just retarget with lead capture, traffic conversions, traffic conversions. And then, and then, um, and, 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 and what I would do is I would, and, and here's what I tell, you know, a real estate agent, for example, is I'll say, keep the content on one topic. So for example, if you're a real estate agent, make all of this content around the buying of selling or the buying of, of, of a house, of a house, right? Take it, take your content and, 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 and tailor it around what it takes to buy, what it takes. You're out there in San Diego, what it takes to buy a house in San Diego, you're a local real estate agent. You're talking about the buying process, right? One topic, many different ways to say it, right? Three to four minute video. That's what we're doing or selling your real estate agent. Focus on, and, and you like to work with sellers, right? You like to get listings, right? You're a listing agent. Okay. Focus on giving people content, value, educational based material, AKA video, AKA Facebook video ad. Start giving us tips and tricks and knowledge on the process of selling. And you just now create all your content around that, man. And, and, and again, when you can just simply retarget, 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 and then get people to opt in and, and, and get a free download, get a free buyer guide from you or get a free seller guide or gifts or get some kind of coupon. That's what you want to start doing. The call to action needs to be click, learn more to download your free X. 
And that free X is normally a training video or a PDF, right? You're giving out some type of coupon. You're giving out some type of download. You're giving out some type of, of, of ebook, right? Some type of digital download. That's what you want to use for bait. That's what you want to use to start capturing leads. Now, in this case, we're only going for video view. So very rarely is someone going to click learn more. Now, I'll, 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 yeah, very rarely is someone going to click learn more. So that's why on this one, I'm, I'm going to just put a send message because um, nothing needs to go to a learn more right now. This is just the third video. But once we go into fourth, fifth, and sixth, from that point on, it's all learn more. It's all click the button to download my free guide. And that's how you guys want to do it, you guys. So up here, third and final step, make sure we're on the right page. And I'm going to use existing post. Remember, it's on the page. So I'm going to use existing post. I'm going to select post right here. And it's going to be, um, let's go back to the videos. It's going to be inspect this, which is this one right here. Okay, that's the third one. Retargeting February 3rd and retargeting February 10th. We're going to roll out February 18th, this one right here. Okay, so here's what we do. We come over here, and it's going to be, where is it? That's February 10th. Yeah, right, so that was the date. So February, February, no, February 18th. It was February 18th. So we look for that one, February 18th. Inspect this. There it is right there. We click on it. We hit continue. And this is where you would add your, your call to action. This is where you would add your link to your landing page. Okay. And that's what profit with Kartra.online is all about. There's a 14 day trial to, there's a link in the description. Try it out. That's for your landing page. Because as you go, as you go away from video views, video views is just the first few videos. In this case, this is literally video number three. And then that's all it's going to be video number one, video number two, video number three. After that video number four, then we're going into learn more, click the button and that's traffic and conversions. Okay. So that's when we'll start capturing leads, but right now it's just video views. So I don't need that. I don't need to learn more. I can, I can go with a send message button. I can go with a send message button for now, right? Just because of the strategy. But after that, you're going to want to be, you're going to want to be, you're going to want me to click learn more. You're going to want, want to be running the ad under traffic or conversions and or conversions. And that's when you can start getting people to lent to the landing page. But now at that point, again, you guys, we got all these thousands of viewers, which is now our warm market, which should make your advertising costs drop significantly because now you're running ads to a market that has already engaged in your stuff, AKA viewed your stuff, view, viewed your videos, you're retargeting. And you're just building up this bucket, man. You're, you're filling this bucket of people that are viewing your stuff. And that's who you want to keep staying in front of. So that's all we did here, you guys. Um, I'm going to come over here. And that's it. So I added the, I added the send message button. Um, in-stream videos must be 15 to, 5 to 15 seconds long. So the in-stream is not where I want to go. So if I come back over here to placements and I take it out of the in-stream, which would be good because that video is longer than 15 seconds, right? So I take it out of in-stream, I come over here, and it's this one right here. So I uncheck that, and then now I come back over to the third step, third and final step. And that is all good. There's the send message button. And now we are good. So I could set up a, I could set up a, um, the actual chat right here, but, but again, that's not, that's not even going to be necessary because we're not even running ads to get people to send message. Um, the button, we just, we just fill in the call to action just to fill it in. Right. I added the send message button. It could be a learn more button. It could be a link to your landing page. It could be linked to your website right now. It doesn't even really matter because that's not what we're optimizing for. We're optimizing for video views. And the only reason why is to build a custom audience around all those who are viewing it to then retarget in the future. And those are people in my local backyard. And that is powerful. So I hope that made sense. You guys, I'm going to just hit confirm. That is it. Um, I have the ad set to go live in a few hours, so hopefully Facebook can approve it by then. Normally, I'll normally I'll set the ad for the following day, but um, this was an ad that was already supposed to go out a, a, a day ago, so I'm gonna just set it to go live right now. So, but but that's what it will say right now, scheduled, and then once it goes, so it'll be scheduled, and then once it goes 
active, actually, actually, so it already approved. Tab number one, campaigns approved, and that's why it says scheduled. Tab number two, ad sets for one campaign, it already approved, that's why it says scheduled. But the ads for one ad set, this one's still in review. So this is the only one that needs to be in, in review, and, and sometimes it could be a few minutes, and then it'll go scheduled, and then it'll go active whenever the time is scheduled to go active. But sometimes this could, take, this could take a few hours. I've seen this take up to a day. So that's why I normally don't set the ad for the same day to go out. I'll set it for the following day. If it's, if it's 1 p.m. today, I won't set that ad to go live until 6 a.m. the next day. I'm always choosing the next day, 6 a.m. the next day. So I can give Facebook plenty of time to review it and plenty of time to schedule it because my budget is, is, is set for a certain time. I started it at this time. I'm ending it at this time. So I want to make sure Facebook approves it before that time. And then it goes live. You know what I mean? So giving them plenty of time hours. Again, I'll schedule for 6 a.m. the next day. That's why a lot of times I'll do it that way, just in case they take long to approve it. Okay, so hopefully that made sense, you guys. After this third video, we're going to have thousands of people to retarget. And that's who we want to keep getting in front of. All right, so over and out, run those ads. And I'll see you guys on the next video.